G'day everybody, it's me again. Today I've got uh, something different. It's a, uh, a little autopsy on a, uh, a big old receiver dryer. Um, got my uh, Air 5 inch here with a uh, 1mm blade on it. Gonna cut just above, just below that weld. I'm gonna separate the two halves, we're gonna see what's inside. You're gonna see how these little uh, sight glasses with the balls work. And uh, we're also going to see how this uh, water condensing system works. So, uh, get me here, muffs, got me grinder. Give this a go. Maybe I shouldn't grind towards the camera, hey? Started the move. By the way, the uh, noise you can hear in the background is my uh, new uh, screw compressor. Hell of a lot quieter than the piston I'm feeling in. It's a bit noisy. Oh, 
I really thought this was a receiver dryer, but uh, it could be a receiver, but there's no drying element. Well, there's no desiccant in there as such. Maybe this is a, uh, an oil sink. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's a dry one. Yeah, I have a feeling this is just a water condenser, fellas. I don't think it's a dryer, even though it's got a little... Well... Little ball indicators there, wet, dry. I wonder if I dry one of them out somehow, whether it will, uh, it'll do its thing. Anyway, as you can see, that's quite a thick walled vessel. And it's got all of this beautiful copper tube inside with the fin on it, which... Uh, what happens is, is when you've got all the containers on the boat, they all, they're all too close together, you know? So you, there's no airflow for the, the actual normal condenser to, to do its job. So what they do is, is they pump cold, either, I think it's cold seawater, they pump through this uh, coil, which in turn condenses the, uh, the refrigerant, instead of having to do it with the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, the actual condenser itself. It gets condensed by cooling water through here. Um, now there's a couple of inlets and outlets, there's one in the top, so like I said, I don't think, I'm not sure if it's actually a dryer at all, I think it's just a condenser unit, um, I'm not sure why they'd have the, the, the dry and, well it could be a receiver, by all means it could be a receiver, but there's no dryer or filter in there, um, yeah I think it's just literally the water condensing, so the cold water comes in, goes through the coil, takes the heat out of the refrigerant and it goes back out and probably just gets goes, gets dumped straight overboard. I'd say that's either a uh, pressure or temperature sensor there. I don't know, I'd have to read that with a meter to see what it says. And uh, hmm, there's not much else to it really, just these these uh, these quick connects. Nice big quick connects, that'd be worth a heap. And uh, there's that coil. I wonder if I could use that coil for something else more sinister. I'm always thinking of sinister things to do with stuff. Hmm. Nice, nice unit, but it's well built. Definitely well built. It's a, a Thermo King part, so you'd hope so. Anyway, that's it. That's what's inside the water condenser. Just literally a coil of copper pipe. Water goes through. Refrigerant's in the outer bit. So I'd say the refrigerant comes in the top because that was coming from the original condenser. So I'd say it goes through the original condenser, then comes into here. Or maybe it's the other way around. I'll have to look at the system again and check. But by all means, something comes in the bottom and there's just literally a piece of pipe. I don't know if you can see that down there. It's literally a piece of pipe with a hole in the end, open end. That's where it comes in or goes out, I'm not sure. And then, yeah, there we go. I'd say if you're condensing it into a liquid, it would be easier to pull it out the bottom because it would all accumulate at the bottom. Anyway, I've been wanting to do this ever since one of my first videos when I actually did the auto main autopsy on the unit and uh, now we figured it out and uh, at first me and uh, Aussie 50 thought that the that this was a gas connection so you could run it off an external uh, compressor but nope we were both wrong this is a, a water condenser so there you go fellas another piece of refrigeration Alex is learning I hope you learnt something too thanks for watching <laughs>